what's going on tech fans welcome back once again to the channel i want to talk to you guys about something that seems to me is starting to just slowly fade away and that's sli and crossfire now directx 12 when it came out it brought very little improvements to games as far as i'm concerned i want to hear you guys opinions like always because we're here at tech and tomorrow we're interactive but for me directx 12 really hasn't made me go oh in any really way, shape, or form, and in another way, it seems like we're seeing less and less Crossfire and SLI. Now, even though Crossfire and SLI is actually a pretty small segment of the market, you'd probably be surprised. Out of all the AAA titles, you're probably talking at best maybe 26% of the games that are out there. So, and I mean, I'm being fair with that. It's probably a little bit, you know, a little bit less than that actually, because none of the little small games that are out there. They even bother to do, give that kind of support because you don't need it. Only those AAA titles with explosions, tanks, people, airplanes, explosions, you know, all kinds of killer. You want to see the face, all that kind of stuff. All those type of games, you know, will benefit with using two cars. But any game, you know, like you're playing like Bastion or some, you know, thing you're looking down on Dungeons and Dragons type stuff. I mean, sure, having two cards might be cool, but any single card is going to kick ass because let's just face it. You can play those games on a Mac. <gasps> I'm sorry, I said it. Shh, the bad word. But anyways, as we see DirectX 12 coming out, right now, there's actually no games on an NVIDIA side that supports SLI and only a couple of titles over on the AMD side. So with that said, is DirectX 12 actually killing SLI and Crossfire or are the devs just becoming lazy? Now, with the release of DirectX 12, we see a lot of things going on on both the AMD and NVIDIA side and that's using low level APIs. Now, high level api does a lot more stuff you can't control it as much by the devs it's all like pre-programmed but it's already done so a high level api which you saw in directx 11 which you know why it supports crossfire and sli better is already done a lot of the programming stuff with a high level api when the devs get the stuff they don't have to do as much to make stuff work but with a low level api it's easier for them to work with but all that stuff that was already pre-programmed in there just isn't there. So having multi-GPU support, even though it should be there, seems to be something the devs are either just, it's either just way too freaking hard for them to do it, or they're being entirely lazy. I mean, let's just face it, DirectX 12, it took a shit ton of time to get here. It got here, and honestly, it was just kind of just like, okay, it's here. You know, Vulcan came out, and obviously for Vulcan, it did help on uh, for AMD for their side, you know? It gave them some good stuff, but it was nothing that was, you know, like saying, oh, hey, we landed on Mars, you know? It was just like, okay, it actually made AMD just actually a little better, which is, you know, since AMD's been the underdog for a long time, we all cheer for the underdog. I've said this many, many times. Now, a friend of mine, Mark Poppin, over on Babotech Reviews, he's done shit tons of reviews, like with SLI and Crossfire and stuff, and actually, just in the last few years alone, the support for doing Crossfire and SLI even before DirectX 12 was just slowing down. There weren't as many games. If you guys have followed my channel, you know, I've done videos in the past where we show you like all the older games, you know, DirectX 9, DirectX 10, DirectX 11. There's just a shit ton more games back then that were supporting SLI and Crossfire. And now we see ourselves at DirectX 12 and there's hardly any games whatsoever. Now, I know that some people, like I've said this in the past, and they were like, oh, dude, you're wrong, but I'm not wrong. Okay, NVIDIA only supports natively and says, oh, hey, you know, we agree with this, two cards in SLI. They don't support three, they don't support four. That's not saying that they're against it and they're saying it's not gonna work, I wanna clarify that. It's just saying that they're not, they're not gonna put their name on that and say, yeah, you're gonna get a lot more performance because you don't. After the first two cards, it starts slowing down, you know, 30% and 15%. Now for the true enthusiast though, who wants that kind of power and doesn't give a flying frack about the cost of that, well, right now, DirectX 12 is pretty much killing that market. I mean, if, if you're building a system today and you're like, oh, wow, I just want to play the latest DirectX 12 games, you're going to be SOL, man. This is just not going to happen. So, I mean, I feel right now, I don't really know what's going on because obviously both AMD and NVIDIA, they're not going to be going, oh, yeah, just forget about Crossfire, forget forget about SLI. They, you know, I'm sure that they wish that it was working better. So I don't think that it's actually the companies themselves, the video card companies, because why would they? There makes little reason for them to do that whatsoever. You know what I mean? But for the devs on the other end, maybe they're just thinking, oh, well, people don't care about this or it's just so freaking hard to implement that they're just not able to get there yet. Because let's just face it, this low level API from these guys that they're giving out now 
is a lot different than the high level API that you saw in DirectX 11. So that's gonna make a big change in the market. Now, will this change in the next few years? Hell, I don't know, but I really hope that it does. Most of my systems, including the ones you guys can see behind me, I usually use SLI or Crossfire. I just like it regardless of the micro stuttering or la 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 la. I have a, a G-Sync monitor, so that shit doesn't really matter at all. It corrects pretty much all those things, so it's you know going constantly. Hopefully, though, you can see the same thing in FreeSync. The only thing I really see between FreeSync and G-Sync though is most of the FreeSync monitors that I see only support up to 100, you know, megahertz. I'm not seeing, you know, 144, 120. I'm sure there's some out there I haven't seen every single solitary market, but with the G-Sync monitor, you know, you can get 144 hertz. So there is a little slight of a difference there. So at the end of the day, folks, what do you guys think? Do you really even care about SLI? Do you care about Crossfire anymore? Is it something that you're like going, wow, Alark, yeah, that's like a big thing we're missing. Are you guys just like, yeah, that shit's passe, man. Give me the absolute best, best video card there is and screw the rest. You know, I want to know what you guys are thinking because obviously you guys are the audience. You guys are the world. I'm just me here at Tech of Tomorrow, a guy with two thumbs saying peace out. So check you guys out later. Is DirectX 12 killing SLI and Crossfire?